It's been one year since we built this portable air conditioner unit for our teardrop camper. And we have one major upgrade to make, and I'm gonna show you how we keep this from freezing up and short cycling, so stay tuned. We came back from one of our camping trips and we realized that living in the, and camping in the south, you need an air condition or you're gonna burn up inside of one of these teardrop campers. So we decided to do what others have done and take a 5,000 BTU window unit and convert it so that we could duct it into the cabin of our teardrop camper. And I covered all of the build of this in our other video and I'll link that below and you could check out the build video. The major upgrade that I wanted to show you today was told to me while we were at a teardrop um, tearjerkers event in Savannah, Georgia by Mr. Steve Cowan. He told me of how he rigged the, uh, the, his air conditioning unit to cycle off every seven minutes to keep the coils from freezing up. And I've been searching high and low for an idea to be able to do the exact same thing and he had the answer. He emailed me the directions that he went by and he also e emailed me what unit he used to do that with. Now this is a $20 unit on Amazon and it's a time delay relay. And all this time delay relay does and how we set it up and you can see right there on the front of the, let me get it to focus. Now you can see right here on the controls, you have a T1 and a T2. The T1 timer tells you how long you want the unit to cycle on for how long you want that cycle to run. T2 is gonna tell you the off cycle that you want that to run and what percentage of that off cycle you want that to function on. Mr. Steve told me that he runs a 70-30 cycle and we found out that, you, that we needed an 80-20 cycle. So I have my T1 set for 10 minutes to run at 80% of that, and I have it um, the T2 set for also 10 minutes, and to be off 20% of that. So I have an 80-20 cycle, what I just said. Now if you look, this is how I wired it up, and this was the most uh, confusing part that I didn't fully understand, I have to keep uh, going back to. You see there we have an A1 positive and our A2 is our neutral. On the bottom side, we have slot 15 and we have a slot 18 that is wired up and we skipped the slot 16, we didn't need that. Now if you notice, well let's go ahead and start with the positive. We picked up our positive on our rotary switch. There you go. We have a, a GE window unit and we elected to go with the knobs because it was easier than the electrical uh, components that we tried with our other AC unit. Now, um, in order to control our time delay module up here, we picked up our positive wire right here on the top of our thermostat that's going to control the temperature inside the cabin. And I've got to rebuild this box now that I've done all this work. But this red wire that comes from our control unit up to the thermostat, that's our hot wire. So I took one wire and I skinned back and then I put, I made a connection right there. That black wire runs out the back and right into A1 right there. That's our positive. For our neutral, we picked up our neutral that was our white wire for the entire controller. And if you look down here inside the box, I only had a white, a red, a yellow, and another red. So that meant that our neutral wire was our white wire that I have right here at the on the bottom of our, so I cut right into that wire and then that's where I got my, my neutral wire from 
that ties into A2 up there. Okay, so that's the power side that's gonna power the module. Now, in order to get the time delays, I have it color coded here with a blue tape and with a green tape. So where I got the time delay from was the other red wire that I have on the top of my thermostat module. I cut that wire and I made one wire, my green, that ties into A15. And then on the back side of that, right up in here, I took that other wire that was tied to that red wire. I put blue tape around it. And that is my A, or my, my slot 18 wire. So just to clarify, I only snipped the one wire, taped one end of that wire green, the other half that I snipped, I taped blue, and then that's where I ran that wire back to the, to the uh, control unit. Now I understand you're probably going to have to go back and, and, understand, and, uh, and replay that little clip there to kind of understand what I was trying to explain. And I may put the instructions down in the description so they'll be written out the way they were written out to me. So maybe between watching this video and reading those little instructions, it'll make good sense to you. All right, so um, just a little overview of our setup. I went on Amazon, I bought a connector. I disconnected the wire, this control unit from the front of our air conditioning unit. And then I just lengthened the wires out and put a connector on this end. So this is how we disconnect and put our air conditioner away is through that connector right there. Now, like I said earlier, I've got to remake a box and I'm gonna um, incorporate this time delay in this box because that red and green wire flash all night long and we don't want that in the cabin of our camper. So we're gonna enclose that up and put that inside one big unit and uh, fasten it down so it doesn't move and these wires seem to be real uh, fragile and they want to br keep breaking off every time I move these boxes around so we don't want that. We want to uh, safe secure doesn't move so that's what we're going to do. And uh, all right well that's what that's the update that I wanted to do for you guys. I wanted to bring this to you. I think it's going to help the teardrop camper community. If you're using one of these units inside of a tent while you're camping. I think this is gonna help you keep your coils from freezing up and short cycling your system. Now, leave me a comment below. If you do the same type of thing, you've had this, this problem or um, what you're doing, what works for you. I've got this little uh, inline fan that connects onto my supply side. It boosts up here and pushes the cold air into the cabin. I have this wire here on the return air and I push the wire through the tube into the cabin and that's where I have this box setting is inside the cabin so that I can uh, turn the air conditioning unit on and off from inside the cabin. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button and follow us along on our adventures and follow us for our projects that we keep bringing you. And uh, leave us a comment below. And uh, don't forget to keep growing, keep building, and always keep adventuring. And together, we're Flemington Famous. Thanks for watching.